welcome. Thank you guys so much for uh, coming to my session here today. Um, my name is Angel Abundes. I'm uh, VP of Business Intelligence at DesignMind. Uh, DesignMind is a Microsoft Gold Partner um, headquartered in San Francisco. Um, we service clients all across Northern California. Um, we are partners with uh, Microsoft as well as um, a couple other uh, people that uh, some of you on, on the session might know about, including Tableau, Cloudera, and Platfora. We have a um, big data practice, a SharePoint practice, SQL Server practice, and custom app dev practice. But um, my neck of the woods is BI. Um, but uh, I do have um, a heart for data analysts because that's how I started off. And that's where this session is really coming from. Um, so hope you guys enjoy it um, and uh, want to go through, kind of peel the onion a little bit about what we're going to go through. Um, so what I wanted to go through was um, who this, this talk was intended for. I wanted to be sure I, I clarified that because um, there might be some uh, BI developers or BI administrators um, or even DBAs that might be watching. And uh, the things that I'm about to cover may, uh, the, the, the workflow or the, the, the process that I go through might be a little, might feel a little odd in, in, some, in some respects. Um, again, this is for the data analysts and I'll, and I'll describe who that is and who I see that in, in each of the organizations. Um, I'm going to go through an intro. Um, and I should also mention to take the opportunity now to, to thank again uh, Pragmatic Works and this entire program of Trending on the T's for having me. Um, there's a, a, a lot of awesome um, uh, webinars that uh, like uh, Brian Knight and Devin Knight have presented on um, for giving the breakdown, a much more detailed breakdown of um, all of the components in Power BI. Um, there's going to be um, one of the one of the tools I'm not going to cover very much of. I'm just going to uh, skim the surface on, but I encourage you to check those out. Um, recently, at our company, uh, because Office 365 is being adopted so uh, so quickly, um, I think yesterday at the Worldwide Partner Conference they said something like um, a billion new subscribers have signed up or um, I, I forget what the number was, but it's like the, the big, it's a big spike in Office 365 adoption. Um, so what, what that means for us and for companies like Pragmatic Works is that people have questions about how to set this up and what it really means and um, what tools they should be using, what best practices are, what's available, what's not. There's a lot of stuff to keep up with. So um, there's some stuff that's come up in the field from, from our standpoint that I'd like to share with with you guys, the data analysts, so that you guys, if, if you run into the same questions, I address them here. Um, followed by a tips, not just in Power View, but I'm going to be covering tips throughout the the, uh, the 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 session. I just I'm going to be focusing on visualization in, in like five in a five to ten minute segment, and then at the end, um, one of our principal data scientists would be joining me to talk about this new capability in Office 365, which is time series forecasting. So um, hope you guys like it. So here we go. So, so the data analyst. Um, so here's, here are the characteristics that I, I typically see when I go into a company um, and uh, you know, somebody presents themselves as a business analyst or a process analyst or a, um, any type of analyst within a company, you know, typically in, in, in a consulting engagement or in a data warehousing project, sometimes these people are referred to as subject matter experts or um, they could be referred to as the stakeholders of the project. But um, these are the people, the go-to people at every company that just they know all about the data. They know um, where to go get answers if uh, an ad hoc question comes through. Um, if anybody anybody creates a report, um, these people are very um, very sharp. When they look at those reports, they they're they're able to tell right away um, if they're wrong, if they're right, if there's a brand new insight, 
or if there's additional things that should be researched before somebody calls, um, before somebody makes a judgment call for the business. So typically for design line where we see these folks is they are the ones that are validating our, our work. So us, we primarily do data warehousing, dashboard, uh, report development, and ETL and all that. Um, as many of you that are on the session might, but these people are the ones that are that really validate our data. So, you know, it's the QA people, um, but they're more than that, right? They represent the business, they represent the goals of the company, um, and they're they're in alignment with the strategy. So, you know, they're our customers. These people love data, they love business, and they appreciate tech. Um, and that any given moment, they can call out, you know who's the important person to go to or, or what's the key process here. So, you know, some data is actionable. In, in our day and age today, uh, data is so important to organizations. And the right people, having the right people in place, uh, hiring the right people makes a big difference to a company. And these data analysts really are the crux of the communication between their data and the business. So the way I kind of envision it, um, is the data analyst is um, a center point for all communications um, throughout the company. Now there might be different hierarchy of data analysts, but these people, you know, they go around to the different departments, and um, you know, sometimes there there's designated analysts in each department, but they all come through and focus um, to the central core of what a company's goals are, what their products are, what they stand for, where their vision is, what they're doing, um, and where they're headed. And um, I'd also like to add that these guys or gals are usually very personable, very friendly, very energetic. I love working with these people. So um, uh, again, this session is for you, and I hope what, what we get out of it today is that you can go um, out and be working with these tools and try to figure out ways that they can help you guys in your daily work. Okay, so getting to the crux of it, so what is Power BI? Some of you guys that are on the session might not know or might be new to that, to that term. So Power BI really is four different tools in that, it, that are now available inside of Excel. Um, uh, a couple of these tools um, are available in Excel 2010. That's